Hey friends, welcome back to Putting Up With The Pom Poms. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we focus and showcase everything about our natural hair from the way we style and care as well as giving you hairstyle inspiration that is easy to achieve and takes minimum effort. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and come join the family. We would love to have you turn on your notifications to catch our weekly uploads every Saturday and Sunday. To all of my return subscribers, hey mama, hey Bessie, hey friend. It's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video. All right, so let's get into it. If you are new to our channel, this is the beautiful Kalia, my oldest daughter of the three that I have. And she represents her type three curls, okay? And she has plenty to go around and share, all right? So we have been on her healthy hair journey for three years now, ever since I started my channel to try to learn to style and care for her hair properly so we can see the beautiful growth that we have seen so far. So in this video, we are doing a elevated wash and go and elevated because I don't found another product I don't got my hands on something else that makes them curls pop and y'all know I gotta share the love so I'm going in first with her hair freshly washed and I'm starting with the Camille Rose and this is the curl love I always call it the curl milk but it's the curl love and it's a leave-in conditioner smells sweet and soft and it softens the hair so it helps with detangling I'm then gonna go in with the prize product of this video and that is the all about curls high definition gel now I picked up this bad boy on one of my random trips to Sally Beauty and I used it on one style for Kalia it was my intention to use it as a wash and go for Kalia and I tested it out on a small style realized I think I'm gonna love it and I do okay do y'all see that definition here so you see Kalia has this nice like zigzag but it spirals it spirals but it looks like this nice little zigzag pattern that that's her pretty much her curls for her entire head it's a lot more coilier in the back than the front I'm not sure why and I also have that same problem too where my hair is more coilier in the back and the front has this more loose softer curl but I didn't have to struggle with getting that definition to show using this gel whatsoever so I finger raked it through and then kind of like broke it up and finger shingled it to make sure that each strand was going to be coated and covered in this gel because we don't want no frizziness and the frizziness that we do see we want to make sure it's controlled and it don't look like you know I didn't do nothing to her hair because Kalia has that type of hair where if I do a wash and go if the product ain't product in it's gonna look like I ain't do nothing to her head and homegirl just rolled on out the bed so we want to make this look effortless but also give you definition at the same time Now, I remember there was a time that I could not do wash and goes on Kalia to save my life. And it really disappointed me so bad because I love, I have always been in love with Kalia's curl pattern. I get so jealous of her wash and goes, but it took time and practice and just learning what products I need to look for that are gonna give her what I need her hair to do, okay? So high definition gels are definitely a number one with any of her wash and goes. And then I also picked up a new blow dryer, okay? So this one is the IQ Styler by Shark and it has this this cool like tool on the diffuser attachment where it helps you reach the roots of the afro and since homegirl got big hair don't care i am in love with this diffuser attachment now they call it an iq styler because depending on what attachment that you put on the blow dryer it automatically gives you the setting that they recommend you to use so for the diffuser it puts it on a low heat of course and a uh, I believe a low velocity, but since homegirl got so much hair, I usually up the velocity, but you can always customize it to your liking, but I love that they make it easy for you and you don't have to worry about changing the settings every time you put on a new attachment. So this is next day for Kalia, and as you can see, homegirl's hair is full and it is gorgeous and beautiful, right? But she did not wrap her hair up. So it's a little bit more poofier than I 
I would have liked, but she still looks super cute. So I decided to style it real quick into a half up, half down. So it would get most of the hair out of her face because she was just talking about how she felt like she looked like a lion. And homegirl is a Leo and she is true to that lion nature, right? So I'm taking in a small section and I'm just going in with water. We were pretty heavy with that gel and that leave-in conditioner that more product is not necessary and you will see product buildup. But this is next day. When I say I didn't see no flaking, no product buildup, the scalp looked healthy, the ends look great and defined. I am super amazed that this gel worked so well. I wish I would have got y'all the first day shot because that first day shot always be given. But this looks just as good. I promise you it's not much of a difference. It was just a little bit more fuller on that second day. So I'm going in with her ponytail holders to secure that ponytail. And I am also going to go in with some gel to lay those edges, right? So I decided to leave out these two little pieces in the front so she got a little bang going on. So remember back when I was talking about that IQ styler and how you add an attachment and adjusts the speed and the heat for you automatically? Yeah, so for this one, this is the precision styler. It automatically puts it on a high velocity and on high heat. So I don't have to worry about none of that. And again, you can always customize it. If it's a little too hot for you, you can always pull, uh, cool it down. If the speed isn't enough for you, you can always speed it up. So, oh my gosh, yes, love this blow dryer. Going in with my all time favorite conditioning gel, the Shine Effects by Edge Effects Conditioning Gel to lay down them edges. I love this gel, been using it for almost a year. It smells so freaking good and I love hair products that smell so so good it smooths down everything without caking anything up and then it just melts into the hair like an oil so it adds this beautiful shine to her hair as well Now let's talk about the longevity of the wash and go. So for Kalia, most times I don't have her keep her wash and go for no more than five days just because the curls start getting a little too frizzy and too big and I don't want it to cause any tangling or matting. So she usually gets washed or I throw it into a bun or a ponytail until I'm able to get to her wash day. So that will complete this video's quick wash and go routine for Kalia this week. Thank you guys for joining us on another video. Don't forget to check out our any other tutorials here on our channel. We will see y'all next weekend.